Welcome back. This is Jack. I've got my coffee, and we're playing some Star Wars. Where is it now? I helped Talus Group chase it away from a medical convoy towards Yavin. It's pinned in the upper atmosphere. Still it's Wedge! But too many fighters for Talus Group to handle alone. Might work out for both of us. Come, meet our visitor. Wedge Antilles, Rogue Squadron. I hear you're the reason I was able to finally get a comm through. I have a Star Destroyer problem that Vanguard might be able to help you solve. We need a Star Destroyer for Project Starhawk. Intact. Now we prove what Vanguard's made of. Wedge, if you would. So once again, Wedge. Uh, one of only... He's literally the only person in the galaxy to have two Death Stars marked on the side of his ship. Uh, he was there for the first Death Star destruction... And he was there for the second one in the um, episode six. And he's also a non force user who's pulled that off. And then he was in the final battle at the end of episode nine. Um, they, they do a quick flash of the actor, but that's about it. Big deal. As you may have overheard, Talos Group was caught of the Imperial Star Destroyer Venturum above the planet Yavin. They're in tough, but it's presented a great opportunity for us to jump in and not only disable that Star Destroyer, but to seize control. So first, we need to give ourselves some cover by knocking out the turrets. Naturally, if we can also take out the targeting system, that'll buy us even more time. Next, we need to prepare the Star Destroyer for boarding. We'll need to find a potential breach point in the Victorum's hull, preferably near the bridge. Once you find a good spot, bombard it until the hull is breached. However, we can expect that the Victorum still has plenty of TIE fighters. They will try to stop us. Once the skies are clear, we can bring in the boarding team. While our troops capture the bridge, Vanguard will defend the exterior from reinforcements. Once the boarding team has seized the bridge and is in control of the Star Destroyer, we will rendezvous with the Templars. Okay, I think I accidentally made stealing a Star Destroyer sound simple. Let's hope it is. BT dubs real fast. Rogue Squadron is named after Rogue One from the Rogue One movie. Uh, that uh, there is no Rogue One. That it's left blank in honor of them. It, the leader is known as Rogue Leader. That's it. Ah. As you may have that. Talos. I definitely want to hear what Wedge has to say. Sorry for the speedy introduction, but Talos Group was counting on me to get reinforcements fast. Your commander says you have talent. Enough to steal a Star Destroyer and get away with it. Normally, I'd have Rogue Squadron for this. But General Sindula gave me a temporary assignment to Project Starhawk. Meanwhile, Rogue is handling... Well, that's classified too. General Sindula keeps us busy. Your commander and I have something in common. I once flew for the Empire too. At Sky Strike Academy. Turning to the Rebellion was the smartest move I ever made. I wish more of my friends had done the same. Look, I appreciate the talk, but uh, Talus Group's waiting for us. One of his friends who did defect with him was Biggs, who died in Episode 4, also a friend of Luke Skywalker. Anyone want to talk to me? Uh, let's see what they got. The Star Destroyer? Aren't you tossing them in the deep end a little early, Lyndon? Vanguard can handle it. Can't you? Besides, Project Starhawk needs that Star Destroyer for... Well, you know. Wedge made a name for himself at the Battle of Yavin. He knows that system better than the Empire ever will. He'll be fighting on the Rebellion's old turf. So if Wedge has any advice, you'd be smart to listen. You know, a wounded Krakana can still fight. Just watch yourself around that Star Destroyer. Get out there as soon as you can. I'm just starting to like really notice like the body language also being off too. Like when someone approaches you to start talking, you kind of turn your body to face them a little bit. They don't do that. Ooh, Grace. I want to talk to her. She seems cool. We're headed to Yavin. An exalted company, it seems. And now we know Project Starhawk needs an Imperial Star Destroyer. That's enough firepower to tackle a small fleet, or a means to catch the Empire off guard. But that wouldn't warrant all this secrecy. There must be more to the Commander's plan. 
We'll just have to trust him. Too bad there isn't an easier way to get what we need. Even a damaged Star Destroyer has deck upon deck of durasteel plating, turrets, shields. My poor bigoted father called Star Destroyers the fists of the Empire. He wasn't wrong. But they can be beaten. If you're good, and lucky. Let's stay optimistic. To Yavin, then. Let's not delay. Thank you for watching. This has been Jack with the Geek's Perspective. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe so you can be alerted and follow all my additional content coming out. Not to mention, if you go down into the comments, you'll find all my social media accounts, including Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and even a Patreon down below. And by being a Patreon member, you'll be able to access videos as soon as I post them, and even some videos that do not get released for even months at a time. So, thank you, and thank you for supporting me.